Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive couple of weeks. Um, I apologize. I've had that issue with the shoulder and I've been <clears throat> seeing an a orthopedist. They've been sending me to therapy. Um, they it wasn't getting any better. They sent me for an MRI and they found a tear in my rotator cuff and a separated lower bicep. Besides a pinched nerve, uh, the, the uh, what is it uh, frozen shoulder and arthritis but I went to the doctor and he feels that these shots they gave me this, this these three shots yesterday for six to eight weeks and they're gonna do stem cell um, he advised no uh, no surgery which would have been like eight to nine months I would have been laid up so and I can't do that uh, for my business so I got some good news yesterday these it's called I think it was called like a bur bursa shots um, it does feel a lot better, but I still got to watch using it. <clears throat> but um, as you can see here on the table, I will be starting a project. Uh, actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to restart the project. I'm going to video it, um, and I'll, pub I will edit it and publish it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I've been watching a lot of guys uh, doing... Um, epoxy resin or resin epoxy tables and I really like the look of it so I built my wife a table a couple of months ago she likes a little table it's like 18 by 18 inches 24 inches high and she puts I get her flowers or you know she makes wreaths and, uh, she'll use the fake flowers put them in a nice vase and just put it on the table that's it and a book and it sits in the living room by the stairs, little decoration thing. So I figured I, was, I would make the same size table, but out of um, epoxy. So I went and picked up these cherry boards, live edge, which I want. Um, picked up a sheet, uh, two foot, I think it's two foot, yeah, two foot by four foot sheet of marmaline. You don't have to see it, you know what it is, the white formica. I picked that up for the form and um I, I picked up this uh you know a consensus was by everybody because i have casting resin you know i did the desktop for my daughter and the coasters cutting boards so i picked up this um liquid glass this is pretty much and i know there's a boat or something boat epoxy but this in consensus of all of the big time guys that do this this was um what they said it's a deep pour it'll do two to four inches or it'll do an inch and part a part b two to one ratio um so that's more than enough that what i need here for the form because it's going to be about two inches thick and it'll be about 18 by 18. i got that i got this regular um regular dap cork to cork the seams i got some other tape um tyvek tape to um, tape this, the edges, you make a form out of the malmaline, you lay this in, you clamp it down, you set the thing up. I already kind of looked to start the setting up and laying out the boards, but again, it's going to be a full video. So once I'm done here, I'm going to start making the form, and then we're going to lay this out, and probably within two weeks I'll, or three weeks, I'll have the video up. So I picked up these two, um, and yes, I knew pretty much how much this stuff cost. <laughs> I mean, those two boards there were, I think, around a buck thirty or a buck forty. So, um, yeah, you're looking at some three, four, five, six thousand dollars for boards. So, I like the color. I'm going to. We're not sure of either. We're going to do it blue or black. And I have the dyes and all that already. Um, I have the um, acetone and the mineral spirits. And I picked up um, the grinder wheels to grind off the edges, brushes to also finish the edges. Um, let's see. Oh, I picked up this, which I never even knew existed. And it is a Porta cable, but this is actually Restora. A uh, guy invented this machine, and basically it's like a grinder on steroids you get your instruction sheet dust port 
it's corded and when I watch guys use this thing it's amazing I mean you can sand with it your dust port goes in the back it fits a Festool hose perfectly it's a keyless um, let me see you open this side you open that side and then you pull this let's see you pull this straight out I have there we go and then you remove your one wheel and it's it's toolless then you get it's different I, and back there is 120 and 180 grit that's empty I guess it's made to take up some room and then you would take this you would put this over this here like that and then you can change out your wheels um, let me see what did I get they make a 60 and 80 and a 120 so I bought um, five extra of 80 and five extra 120 they give you the 80 and the 120 there's a 120 in here it's all written inside then they give you this wire wheel they give you this wire wheel and it gives you direction of spin and that just goes right in you, you pop your top back on lock it in lock it in and there you go you'll see it on the video uh, but it's called a restorer and you just run it over your board and it takes off the edge you can sand some wood with it um, I mean for watching video with that's being used and I found it at Rockler so Porter Cable makes one but this is um, the actual company called Restorer so I don't need that I don't need that anymore then I picked up uh, a polisher, Think Work. Again, um, pretty much, you know what people use. It came with a bunch of. It comes with a, a polishing gloves, but it comes with this larger polishing cloth. Yeah, smaller, and it's that the two handle like you would use with a car on a car, but this. Once you put the finish down, you would use this to buff it in. So you're going to use that to buff it in. You got your on off, your variable speed. That's why I bought this. It was like 60 bucks. That's all it was. I wasn't getting any going crazy with it. And then you just put your pad over this, put down your liquid, and then just buff right over the surface. You could put your uh, sealer on and your hardener on with this of course instruction sheet so that's that those are basically all the new stuff I got for this project and I could use it for my truck there I got a ton of garbage I gotta get rid of so I picked up uh, I love these and I highly recommend these. These are the, um, we're a tiny screwdriver set, but it's regular Phillips, it's square and Torx. You can never have enough little screwdrivers, at least in my trade, you can never have enough little screwdrivers. Oh, and I got the mixer. This goes on a drill, and it's used to mix. I got the buckets and measures, and I still got stuff left over from when I did the um, desktop and all. I still got a ton of stuff left over. Oh, here's something new. Um, Milwaukee came out with um, SAE and a metric set of Allen keys. I know I have the Weera, but I got <laughs> Milwaukee. And it's, they're pretty nice. They hold up pretty good. You know, they're not like the other ones that just when you hold it there, boom, it falls down. But again, I haven't even this, these stuff have been sitting here for weeks. Like I haven't done a video because I just haven't been feeling good. 
This I found at my local tool store, not this one here. Oh God. I found this uh, Vega. Basically, um, it's made in Taiwan. This is a Phillips set. And this is a Torx set. And as you can see, they have magnetic pieces on them. So you can actually buy, I bought two of each. So it's a separate magnetic piece. So if you're going to, let's just grab a screw here. Put this one back. So you set it right there and pretty tough magnet. Yeah, pretty tough magnet. And that's it. You just set it to where the screw sits on the magnet and it just holds it in. Uh, it's a local tool store that I deal with and he had them and he gave them to me as uh, like, well, you know, again, I don't take anything. He wanted to give them to me, but I said, no, let me pay for them. So he gave it to me at cost and he said try them out and I got two sets of them uh, the other set we put on our truck already and have been using them and they're really good and you can buy the magnets separately so you can put them on your own bit but what I found look at these things comes as a set loose it comes with this small carabiner and you basically they're color coded yeah let me put them on first I already have this, I bought an extra set for here. I have one on each truck. And they're little locking quarter inch pieces. So if you want to, you could take your bits and you can lock them in and put them in your, on your toolbox. So they lock in. And all you do is push forward and release it so the bits are now sitting you know on your toolbox which your little and it's a locking carabiner it's cheap it's a Chinese thing it's a cheap carabiner but it's you know it's decent it'll, it'll hold um, you can feel the threads are they're terrible so they'll lock in to like your bucket or to one of your little D rings if you want to take it off and, and maybe a little WD-40 would work and then you put your, and you just take off your bits as needed. And I've been using, I don't, I'm going to murder this, Tanjima. Tanjima. I've been using this ruler. Um, matter of fact, at work. And now I took one, bought one from here. And these rulers, they're really, they really hold good. These things, I mean, they're small, compact. It's got a lanyard cord. You can actually buy something that you could take off and stick in front of you. But I'm not a lanyard person. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this project, uh, like I said, as soon as I s stop this video. <coughs> excuse me. As soon as I stop this video. Got to grab my uh, light again. I'm going to be uh, starting this. I'm going to clean up and I'm going to start my form first, build my form. And you want to be about an inch, they say, for what everyone says, about an inch bigger. So I'll be doing it 19 by 19, about two and a half, three inches high. Um, mark out for the two inch so I know, because this is all self leveling. So once your form is level, if you want two inch, you know, of course you got to make the sides because you don't want them like just at the top of the form so the form's got to be like two and a half inches high and then you mark one half inch down so that when you pour in the epoxy and you're at your line it's going to be that two and a half inches then of course it's big enough that I can shoot through the planer uh, sand it down and uh, we'll see how it comes out uh, I'm going to do a river in the middle so that uh, mm. and we'll take it from there It'll be an experiment. From there, they make bigger boards of this uh, species. So I may end up doing a coffee table. But I did get legs in. These are the legs. But I didn't read the... Uh, and they come with rubber feet. 
I was gonna. I want to use these legs. They're black and they come with a rubber foot on the bottom. Well, you got to put it on. But I didn't read it. And these are 16 inches, like a coffee table. And I need them 24 inches. So uh, the 24 inch legs won't be in for a couple of days. And I got the threaded inserts. Everybody, uh, they all put their legs in with threaded inserts. No screws. Um, easier to take apart, stronger. So, oh, here's a little trick I saw. Oh, I actually started a third channel called uh, Mike's Model Table or Mike's Hobby Table. Mm, don't even remember. I only got like three videos up. But I don't know if any of you have played with, you know, if you build models and you use CA glue and then your accelerator. Now, this accelerator is a spray. I don't like using the spray. So what I did is I opened the top up and I used to dip a small swab in it and then just put the swab and it'll drip onto the CA glue, the accelerator would activate it. One or two drips, you're done, Bob's your uncle. Well, I found that you could take a swab and put it, you could take the tube out and you could put it on the end and then swab it. But I cannot tell you how many times I was spilling this by hitting it with my hand. And they do make little holders and stuff, but that takes up room. I w so I saw somebody glue the bottle, right? And this is Starbond. This is their small accelerator. And they glued it onto this piece of quarter inch wood. And now it's a lot tougher to tip. We won't be tipping over. So a little uh, tip there. If, if, and you could do this with a big bottle too if you needed to but it does take a long time for it to dry so um, yeah that is that um, yeah I feel a lot better like I said so I'll be back I just couldn't you know I, I didn't even get the, the some of the tankless stuff out oh I am on TikTok now under um, that tankless guy um, I've started shorts, so check out my shorts. <laughs> and I said to myself, I, I did a tankless video yesterday and said it. I laughed my socks off and I'm laughing now. Check out my shorts. So I don't know for those who didn't see them already, I started uh, shorts now where I'm posting like under two minute videos. And some of these videos I've had in my phone for a long time. So check them out. Some of them are pretty, pretty good. Some of them are pretty funny. So um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, I feel better with the good news. Well, not good news, but like I said, at least I don't have to go through eight, nine, seven, eight, nine months of of rehab and and recoup. But we'll see. Like he said, it's all contingent on how. I mean, so far that these shots he gave me, my arm feels wow, one hundred percent better. And he says it'll prove, but it's got to be six to eight weeks, and then they're gonna uh, draw the blood from me, spin it up, take whatever stuff out of it, and shoot it back in me. And so far, everyone that I've talked to, whether it's been shoulder, knee, um, they said it worked great, no problem. So I don't know. We'll see. You know, sometimes without bad luck, you have no luck at all. <laughs> yeah, because I lost everybody. It's just my son and I now back to my son and I. I went from five guys to back to two and really one and a half because I couldn't really use my right arm so yeah and we're busy is the only street walker in an old male greeting card convention uh, well alrighty but I like I said I'll be starting this as soon as we um, hang up and uh, we'll go from uh, we'll go from there. All right. Um, if you know you guys uh, like again, thank you again for all your likes, your subscribes, your comments. My email will be below. If you're um, have a question, just uh, shoot me an email, and I try to respond to every single one. The um, you know the. the Subscribes and everything again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I greatly appreciate everyone that supports me So alrighty. Um, yeah, check out my Twitter 
it's that tankless guy and of course my Instagram is my name and um, that tankless guy and <laughs> check out my shorts <laughs> oh god that's funny um, yeah I try to post two a day um, a little bit of everything all right all right YouTube you all be safe out there and I'll see you on the next video bye bye now